I'm Tiger Height, and I'm here to make WWE Raw and Pro Wrestling with Jessica again. I like the show. There's a lot of fun stuff here, a lot of constructive stuff, and some stuff for Road to WrestleMania. Not just WrestleMania, but everything going in between. And I am really happy about that. Now, I would say this is a two-for-one, but I don't do that anymore. But Jey Uso kicked off Raw, cutting a pre-match promo. Then Drew came out. They started fighting. And that ended up with the match between Jey Uso and Drew McIntyre. A good opener. Good structure. Lots of fun stuff. And it was a claymore for Drew to win after shenanigans. But once again, Drew won with heel shenanigans. He stays strong, Jay Uso stays strong, everybody here is good, full thumbs up. Ray Ripley versus Maxine Dupree. I was not sure what to expect out of this match. It was one-sided. Ray Ripley absolutely destroyed with a sort of sloppy riptide and then a brutal pendulum submission. God damn, Maxine is very flexible. Now, that's good for me for later. It'll help with the fantasy, but I really like what they did here with Ivy Nile, who was out there with her. The stare down was good, and I'm like, hmm, I think it might be too early for a WrestleMania Ivy Nile, but it's not a bad idea. But once again, as with my Bailey review and my, in my Bailey prediction, who's going for the Women's World Champion of Mania? Somebody has to. I guess you can do an IV for Elimination Chamber. Get that out of the way. Have one of the chamber matches for the women. Bam. All right. I can dig that. Sure. Orange Cassidy thumbs up. I, and the only reason that I do that is that I see where it's going and it also ha helps me with my fantasy. So I'm, I'm not too mad about that. <laughs> my God. <laughs> CM Punk segment. Making his decision on who he's going to sign with, Raw or SmackDown. He signs with Raw. Seth Rollins come out. Seth Rollins comes out. There we go. This was a really good back and forth. Little mania tease. Poke in the bear. Full thumbs up. I dig it. Bronson, Reed, and Ivar. This was a match that was sort of teased last week. And this worked. I thought it was a fun little Haas match. It was a superplex for Bronson to win. A very interesting decision. And I'll be honest with you, if they gave us a little more time, I think we would have had maybe a better match. But I like what I saw here. Orange Cassidy, thumbs up. Judgment Day segment without Ray Ripley because she had a match. Uh, R-Truth came out. I really like the interaction there with uh, R-Truth and Judgment Day. They attack R-Truth. The... Creed Brothers come out and help and run out literally all four members of Judgment Day. And I really liked the Dominic and JD saying, no, hold up. Don't attack them. They're going to beat you. They're the real deal. I heard that. I heard that. And I'm like, wow, they're doing this really well. And I do not hate it. I, I just like this segment. It was funny. It had a program that progressed. Full thumbs up. Also, the crowd was super into it because anything with R-Truth, you're just going to get gold because that guy is a workhorse and should be in the Hall of Fame yesterday. So last week, I gave the women's division, the women's tag division specifically, a whole lot of credit because the tag team match was good last week. We have Katana Chase and Caden Carter taking on Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell. It was a fine match. The difference is that the other match had time to progress and have something go. This one really didn't have that. Because Indy Harwell and Candice LeRae, even though they were part of the way, just felt thrown together. Where the other ones, at the very least Natalia and Tegan Knox, had some time to develop as like a team regularly on television within the last 40 seconds. We just, we just didn't get that here. But it was the after party, which was the neckbreaker 450 splash for the win. So Chance and Carter have all this momentum. 
they're going for the tag titles next week, which I'm happy with. So we're at least going to get that conclusion. I really hope we get these titles off of Chelsea Green and Piper Nevin. It is dead in the water with them, and I think we can get some good stuff with the workhorse women. Um, I'll be nice. I'm going to give it an Orange Cassidy thumbs down. I guess because of the expectation, but that's just me. Becky Lynch and Nia Jax had a segment. So I noticed something in this segment. Becky Lynch is getting dangerously skinny. Like, I like a petite girl. Like, that's just what I'm attracted to. But Becky Lynch is getting not healthy skinny. I'm seeing the veins from her neck up to literally here on her. I'm seeing what's going on. And it just is looking bad. Now, I could have been mistaken in the past. It may have been mistaken now. But it's just something that popped up with me when I'm watching this. But it just was scary. I just see these veins going up to here. I'm like, oh my god, what the hell is going on? But Nia Jax didn't do bad in this promo. She actually was okay. Becky was obviously great other than literally her veins taking over her face. But I don't know. Did that bother anybody else but me? That was worrying. Orange Cassidy thumbs down. So up next was a six-man tag where the Imperium team taking on DIY and The Miz. And it was a fun match. I thought it was constructed really well. The Miz continuing to be very popular. I mean, they're in Cleveland, but so there is that. But he's really expanding and really working hard, and I'm really digging that. I'm, I'm just liking everything here. And it was Skull Crushing Finale for DIY and Miz to win. Orange Cassidy thumbs up. And in our main event, Cody Rhodes, Shinsuke Nakamura. I think this should have been saved for uh, Elimination Chamber, but maybe they have other things in mind, so I'm going to give them credit there. It was a good main event, and I really like the ending. Red missed into the face of Cody. Disqualification. Post-match attack until the Creed's helped. It really was constructed well. Full thumbs up for this main event. And that was Raw. Let me know what you thought about not only my video, but Raw in the comments down below or right over here next to me. Subscribe to the channel, become a patron, get hats, and all of that will be in the description or in the bio. It's the link tree description. Check all the links out. And as always, be majestic.